<gasps> From one world showcase to another. To the other world showcase. We are in the past evening. It's really nice and breezy. It really is. It's a little it's, a, yeah. it's like that that room temperature breeze. Like it's not hot but it's not cold. Yeah. But it just feels nice to have the, the breeze through your hair. We're going to open our night with Club Pool. But we came in through International Gateway because we parked over at Yacht Club. But I need Beverly. That doesn't change things. Like no matter where you park, you need to start off your Epcot trip with Beverly. We wanted to show you. Do I look different? I don't well, have a backpack. Peter, where's the backpack? You always wear cargo shorts with your backpack. Peter, you're supposed to get rid of your cargo shorts because Chelsea told you years ago it's not okay <laughs> for grown men to wear cargo shorts anymore. Even though they're super useful. Yes. But guess what? Because I'm a vlogger and I wear chinos now, the fanny pack returns. <laughs> if you have watched from our old channel, Peter would always wear the fanny pack on our vacations. It was like a piece of it. Yeah. I put so it on in Chicago like we got on the airplane. It's like, yeah. right, it's vacation. Yeah. Magic band on, fanny pack on. Okay, we're about to find out what is going on on this stage. There's Zootopia emojis. This is a 16-year-old pop recording artist named Skylar Stecker, and she has been named Radio Disney's next big thing. Last year, her single Blame became her third. All right, not first, second, but her third, which means she knows what she's doing out here. my time hop the other day you drink in Beverly and I was like nothing has changed in six years Zero. but apparently food and wine trying to be like festival of the arts and get radio Disney up in here with that girly girl who was 16 she was born in 2002 <laughs> and look at someone got angry at Beverly <laughs> that was not me I'm actually offended I just want to point out how ridiculous I am and I know if you've been watching us for more than like three days you already know that but I honestly forgot that Eat to the Beat was a thing as we were going to Epcot. So I was like, I'm gonna look up who's performing. Like, performing? She's like, yeah, David Cook. And I was like, oh, that's right, Eat to the Beat is a thing. Totally David forgot. David Cook was on American Idol, and he was my favorite. I have this cover of him singing Always Be My Baby by Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey used to be your favorite, now David Cook is? Mariah Carey is never my favorite. There's a bigger crowd. Christina right? Aguilera. Yeah. That's who I'm thinking of. Like, there is a big crowd. About? It is a Friday night at the uh, second to last show, though. Oh, wow. Listen to that crowd. Guys, this is our last set of Eat to the Beat this year. Oh, that hurt a little. He was about to play a song he was going to play last night, but it stormed out. He's never Remember the good. sky. According to our app, it's, it is going to rain out. It changed its mind. But according to that gentleman in front of us, a tornado just touched down three miles away. <laughs> He's never played this live. Mike, are you ready? Sam, are you ready? Jeffrey, are you ready? This is Dreams. Washroom. 
and she doesn't know where I am, but I spotted her. Let's go explore. Was Ohio over there before? Yeah. Okay. I thought I was locked on. Oh, you gotta see these. These, um, you gotta see these, whatever they're called. I think we need these. Ooh. They're a pack of four for $19.99. I want that one. And I want this one. I want them all. I could go without the other two, but I really want that Don't one. Don't discriminate. I'm not discriminating, but I'm saying like, I really want it for this one and this one. Always get the Morocco water. Always get the Morocco water. On another absurd note, I've never realized how many times we've come in here, I've never realized how stinking gorgeous. Look how gorgeous the detail is right there. Have you ever noticed how beautiful the ceiling is? We usually don't do this unless it's daytime. And so because it's not daytime, but we're still gonna do our daytime tradition. Which we haven't done in a long I don't think we've done it yeah, since we the Earhart's were like here like three trips ago. Three of their trips ago. We're gonna get it back up. The line's not bad at all either. This is a secret thing we got. I have no idea what it even is. Called a maraca shaker. No, it's called a merengue. Merengue. It's chocolate and egg white, like whipped up with some sugar, a flour or something. Look how big it is. Sugar. Sugar. How big this? And it's like Take super a bite. light. Take a bite. This thing is. Oh, it's only on the side. I think it's hard. It's a taco. <laughs> It's like... What is it? Is it icky? No, it's really good. <gasps> I just don't know how to describe it because it's like air. Sugar air <laughs> with chocolate on it. Really good. Really, really weird. <laughs> well, that was interesting to say the least. The most weird part about that weird contraption was, oh yeah, there was goo in the middle of it. But also, which was more weird than the goo, was the, the fact that um, it smelled like Eve. Like when you pick up Eve and smell her head, like if you smell right here on Eve, like stick your nose it's in there. It's like wet dog, it's just like Eve has her It's like her smell. skin, it's like, it's like when you, right now, pause the video <laughs> and put your forearm up to your nose and just, like that's what you do to Eve, like you do to a fresh baby. And instead of a fresh baby smell, there's an Eve smell, which is good. And that weirdly smelled like Eve. And when you're supposed to eat it, that just like messed with your mind. It's kind of like, you know when you go to take a drink of water from like your friend or your cousin or your sibling or your parent, like, oh, I need a swig of water. And it's like orange juice, but you think it's gonna be water. And then you're like, ah. That's kind of how that was. I'm never gonna get it again, um, but it was fun. Baguettes are my favorite thing ever. It's the best bread I've ever had, and I like consider myself a bread aficionado. Thanks to my friends, I'm working on being a coffee aficionado. That dictionary. But I am a bread aficionado. I've just never made my own. I think what was weird about the Eve smell was that I noticed like halfway through eating it, and then I said it out loud to Peter, and then it ruined like the rest of the time. He ate. Yeah, I was kind of a fan of it until you said it. Then I was like, and then the goo was really weird. There was like a chunk, and then the guy told us, the girl told us it was egg white, made of egg whites, and I was like, is the goo egg white goo? Did you just stick your finger in the garbage and now licked it? Um, anyway, I was gonna say, that was super no, nice. I let me explain myself. It was from the, like, our garbage. <laughs> there was chocolate. Our own garbage. Yeah. It was our own grossness that she stuck her it fingers and put in her mouth. From our anyway that's a super cool spot back there but in the corner of France because it's Friday during oh, I am it's a Friday night food and wine it is bomb and it's not super busy but it's definitely busy and literally we just spent the last 20 minutes by ourselves in a dark secluded area just having a romantic little 
second dinner kind of thing, or supper, or second supper, whatever a hobbit would say. Whatever that was. Put a comment down below. Was it supper, second dinner, second supper, early midnight snack? What was it? Tell me. Teach me. Show me the ways. I smell gravy. It is T minus three seconds. One, two, three. It is Illumination's finest seat time. This is our first go, was trying to get a spot here. Well, remember the other week when we got here way too early? Yeah, we got here an hour and a half early, so today Sarah was like, it's too early, let's go do something. So we got that baguette thing, and now it's 30 minutes until showtime. And there's no spot. So we're gonna try to go to the other side of the UK. This is a speaker. This is my wife. This is the ground. This is a guardrail. That is the center of illuminations. This is by far maybe the closest and one of the coolest spots we will have ever watched it in. We just don't have a table of chairs. Look at these cutie air hearts watching illumination. We're gonna live here during the holidays because I love the holiday finish, like kicker at the end. Perfect. And I'm super yeah. sad that Illuminations is going away next year. That was the first time we watched it since we found out the truth. Wow, this place just feels and smells so great. Now, I don't. You could try. I'm gonna go though. I'm just kidding. We're at Katie and Dustin and Eddie's. We're gonna break in. Oh my gosh. We haven't seen Padme since her hair cut. Come, in. Come into the light. Hi, you look so good. Katie and Dustin are going on a cruise tomorrow, so we're here tonight to hang out for a little bit. But we're going to be here early to help them get ready because we're going to dog sit and stay with Eddie and the dogs this whole week. Katie's breaking the news to Aurora that she's leaving and that we're babysitting her. Aurora, tomorrow that they're going to be the ones that are in charge of you, not me. And we're bringing Everson. It's not going to be Mummy. It's going to be Peter, Sarah, and Eve. It's going to be okay. Look at this. This is Katie and Dustin's camera set up. Like true vloggers now. Getting everything, the bag for the camera equipment set up. They mm -hmm. got the GoPro, the G7X. Look, show them the, look at, show them the, the tripod you got. Oh, show them the tripod you got. We're like, we're like... Brother and sister, yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna vlog it? Yep. <laughs> Katie never gives her dog treats. Good girl. But because Eve's coming, <laughs> Katie got the dogs their special treats that doesn't hurt their belly. And she just dropped it all. <laughs> yes. We made it safely home. We are going back very early. In the morning to Katie and Dustin's house because they're leaving on the cruise. We're gonna have our breakfast with the Brookharts there with them. We need some cinnamon rolls. Uh, be sure that you watch the live stream. Well, actually, this will be up after the live stream. But if you miss the live stream, you can always go back and re-watch it. Um, we post them to our channel and you can find out there how you can enter for the next Brookhart box giveaway. We're going to be doing weekly giveaways on um, our channel and during the live stream you'll find out how you can enter and it's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish and believe me it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>